Hello everybody, it's me again. Um, yeah, there wasn't supposed to be a part two. I was, yesterday's video I was gonna run and just make one video and, you know, I don't know how to time lapse stuff. I'm, I, I don't know how to edit anything. That's just, I don't do enough of these videos and what I do do is, is just, what you've seen right now. So anyway, there is a part two now, and hopefully this should be the last video. I, like I said, I was just gonna make one video and have it, um, uh, you know, just be one long video where I'll pause it, do some stuff, come back and show you what I've done. So that's kind of what I'm gonna try to finish doing. Anyway, so as you can see, I have, I did quite a bit yesterday. I got everything, all the stuff mounted. Um, I can't find the label maker, so Sharpie is your friend. Um, got the switches put in, and each switch has its own color. So the main switch is red, obviously. The, the other two are yellow because they're gonna be their they're gonna be their own thing um, the USB and the power jack are blue and it doesn't matter the color I was just you know my OCD does knows no bounds and then the LED lights are green so let me show you what I did um, obviously you can see I got everything mounted um, that I'm going to use right now and this this box is big enough that I can upgrade if I decide I want to do something else or add some things it's you know fairly upgradable um, so as you can see I haven't done any of the wiring yet that is going to be today's project I'm gonna do some wiring um, I got the batteries in there and yeah just what I needed was, what I was going to do, and I didn't have it, was a big old Velcro strap, big enough to go around all, I got all the batteries are all taped together, so they're together as one, and then I mounted them in the very, in the center of the box, so that the box is, is, you know, when you pick it up, it doesn't fall to one side or the other. So yeah, pay no attention to the guy behind the, the curtain. I'm going to try to find a Velcro strap that I can run around that battery and hold it in. The cool thing about this box is the bottom of the box is recessed. So those pieces of wire are in the recess. So when it's sitting on the ground or whatever, it's not tearing up those wires. So I want to run the, when I find the Velcro strap. I'm going to run the Velcro strap just like I got those wires and, uh, you know, to tidy and hold that battery down. And again, there's plenty of room in the box for other stuff. So as I upgrade this box, I can, you know, move the battery over or whatever and put stuff in there. Um, I had to put this on there, as you can see. Um, because the once I got all this shit up there in the, in the lid... And I didn't want the lid to flop over when I opened it. And so I got that little that little wire there to hold the lid open. And before I had the batteries mounted in there, it would flip the whole box over because it just the lid just get getting higher, I don't know, heavier and heavier. So yeah. Um, again, the all the black lines, that's my OCD. You know, my OCD knows no bounds. So I had to make sure all the switches were all centered in that compartment, you know, both ways, just like these. I wanted them centered in that compartment, in that little space. Um, I was going to mount the uh, fuse block up here in this area, but it's a little bit taller than this is deep. And as you know, this box... The top of that box has this this plastic cover, so everything is covered. Well, let's try putting it on the right way this time. So everything is covered, but this is closed. So all my switches and plugs and whatnot are in there. 
are closed. So, um, and as far as the, uh, you know, charge controller in that, I wasn't going to use the tray. Um, but as I got to looking, because like I said, I might upgrade that, that, uh, um, dang, my mind just drew a blank. Anyway, uh, I'm probably going to upgrade this, this here to a larger one at some point. So right now I'm just going to, you know, mount it up here somewhere. Um, you know, depending on how it works out, I might, I haven't quite decided, but I was going to use this, this tray for that purpose, as well as the solar charge controller, but I may not now that I'm looking at it, um, because of these. If those things weren't so doggone long. So, anyway, this is a work in progress, as you can see. Um, but, yeah, so I might upgrade this. And I've already got some ideas of things that I'm going to do. Like, um, I'm, when I mount this in the box, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a couple of cords and have, say, a, a plate, an outlet plate right here, like on the side of the box. Um, but right now I'm just going to figure out how I'm going to mount it now because I, it's a work in progress. Just like I said, it's a work in progress. I might have to cut that, that handle out. I don't know. But anyway, um, so yeah, like I said, I still have to mount those somewhere, but I, I'm going to start on the wiring for everything that I already have mounted and then I will address these things like i said i've got plenty of room um i was just trying to i didn't i was going to cut all the holes in the top because it had that 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 lid that goes over that and um try not to cut any holes in the side of the box but i might end up having to do that after all anyway so um so as far as the holes uh you know you can get regular hole saws or you know but these step bits are awesome because you can drill a hole because you may not know exactly how big around these these things are and how big a holes you need to drill. Oh yeah, that's where my LEDs are. I decided to put them on the lid like so. But anyway, you 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 may not know how big the hole is you know if you're like me you just wing it most of the time with your projects and just everything's a work in progress they do have excuse me again i can't see doesn't want to focus real well but anyway you can see it does have the measurement of each step on there so, let's see if this helps. Probably not. A little bit. Anyway, so you can see it does have the measurement, the whole measure size for each step. Um, so, you know, with this, you can, you know, if you get a hole saw, you, in, unless you know exactly how big the hole is that you're cutting, um, with the hole saw, you know, once you cut that hole, you're done. With this, you can work your way up. So you can cut it up to where you think it might be, check it, see if it's the right size, go to the next step, and, you know, a little more control as far as that goes. So that's what I've got done so far. Um, my next, like I said, I'm going to wire... I'm going to wire, you know, put the batteries in, in parallel. I'm going to, again... Pay no attention to the guy behind the curtain. I'm going to put the batteries in the parallel. Um, this is going to be the main power going from here to the fuse block. And this is going to be the main negative going from here to the fuse block. Um, the main power 
here is going to go through the main switch and then to the fuse block. Then, like I said, it's going to be my main power. This is my voltmeter. It isn't exactly where I wanted it, but it works pretty good. And that handle doesn't sit down on it. It doesn't affect it because I checked. It doesn't push the button or anything. Uh, I was originally going to mount it here, but yeah, I'm not quite, you know, so I put it down in that recess. And uh, yeah, so like I said, I'm going to wire this directly to the batteries. So as I'm putting the parallel connections in, I'm going to run the wire to one of these parallel connections because this, you push the button, it comes on, shows you what you need. And turns back off so it doesn't it might be drawing barely any any juice whatsoever just to keep the memory because it does it does have some parameter settings in there that you can that you can configure um, so that being said like I said I'm going to wire these or start wiring these anyway and I will come back periodically to show you how I'm doing it, what I'm doing. Um, but I'm not going to make you, you know, suffer through, through me screwing it up and having to redo stuff over and over again. It'll just be a blink of an eye to you guys. But like I said, if these things are so, these are perfect. DIY projects are perfect because you can figure out. Like I said, I watched videos and seen what other guys have done, and then you put your own twist on it. You know, a lot of the guys use those those uh, plastic Plano, um, you know, plastic ammo boxes that you can get. You know, the Plano brand makes them, but Walmart and Academy, Academy Sports. They have their own version of that. It's it's basically the Plano clone. Um, I got one for one of my other projects that I'll talk about later on that I that I've got going on that I've already completed and it's up and running. Um, but and they use those those small little ammo boxes. You know, I wanted something bigger. And using these lithium batteries, I mean, it's it's going to have a little bit of weight to it. But like I said yesterday, it's not going to be super duper heavy. Now, if I had four lead acid batteries, those size, those little nine amp hour batteries that are exactly that same size in the lead acid version, um, this this thing would be immensely heavy. It, it, yeah, I mean, it's going to have some weight to it as it is but i've pretty much got everything in it you know aside from these things but these don't weigh nothing i've pretty much got everything in it that it's going to have in it and it's you know it's got some weight to it but it's not terribly heavy so anyway so that being said i'm going to start working on this and you know and i'll be back like i said it's going to probably be a little bit for me but it's going to be just a split second for you so long as I don't fat finger the phone again and hit stop instead of pause. Otherwise, you would have been able to watch the entire video yesterday. So, all right. I'll be back. All right, we're back. Now, I've gotten your batteries in parallel. Um, it's all done. The negative goes right up to the fuse block. And the positive goes up to the main switch. And you see I got my my uh, voltage meter on there. And let's see here. And here, let me spin this box around so we can see it a little better. So when you push the button, ta-da! Get this out of the way. So, oops. My pack is running at 12 and a half volts. See how it shuts off? So, yeah, it's 75% charged at 12.5. 
and uh, these down here are the oops, turn it back on these will be once I hook up the temperature gauge it'll have a temperature in here too so yeah and like I said it doesn't it turns itself off so that's that's all right so that part's done so yeah got the got the batteries in parallel um, got the wire to the voltmeter um, got the one going up to the main power switch the other going up to the fuse block now some of these videos you'll see depending on the fuse block now my fuse block has a post for the positive power and you know battery power from positive to negative so what I'll do is I'll run a wire from here on the positive side to the power post um, now some of them only have the, the positive power post some of the uh, fuse blocks that some of these guys are putting in their boxes um, just have the the fuse block or just the uh, positive post um, where mine has both so they'll daisy chain all the negatives so they'll take a negative from here to here to here to here you know they'll start like way over here and they'll put negative to negative to negative to negative you know all the way over and run it straight to the negative side of the battery where my fuse block like I said has its own it's got a positive and negative post and it also has positive and negative going to the fuses so each switch is going to have a negative that comes over here and screws on as far as mine so it's going to be a little bit more wiring than some of them but you know this fuse block I found because I wanted at least six um, you know fusibles Again, this box is totally upgradable. I could take this fuse block out and add more, a larger one. You know, I'd have to mount it somewhere else, but I'd have a larger one that handles more stuff. So, but as of right now, so yeah, that's where we're at right now. So I'm going to continue wiring. Again, pay no attention to the guy behind the curtain. But I got all the batteries are all in parallel. And, uh, yeah. So that's the first part of the wiring. So I've got the main switch power to it. And then, like I said, I'll run a, a wire from there to here, which will power the fuse block. And then, in turn, power all the rest of my accessories. And, uh, so yeah, that's the uh, update. So I'm going to continue working. And then I will update you and I'll let you in. So it's going to be, again, it's going to be a little bit for me, but it'll be a blink for you. All right. See you back. All right, everybody. I'm back. I just want to show you where, what I've done so far. I have wired the LED lights. Okay. Now these lights, if you get these lights, they're not, you can see the wires are colored black and white. And you're thinking, well, black's probably ground. You're right. <laughs> white is power. Um, I know how that sounds. White is positive. Let's put it that way. Um, Got to be PC these days. So, got the got the uh, LEDs wired. That was kind of a chore because that's four wires from completely opposite sides to the fuse block, and you can see. My jumble of wires. So I'm gonna zip tie. I'm gonna turn them into uh, um, wiring harnesses as I go along. Um, I run the the uh, LEDs up there because, like I said, there's four wires, and um, you know. But I plan on running some of the other the other things like down along the bottom up to the fuse block. So there's not gonna be a you know mass of wires in any one place. They're all gonna be zip tied. They're gonna look good when I'm done. Um, I did this. Um, I got to thinking, it's like, 
ah, I had run just a straight wire from the from the switch to the fuse block, um, and I didn't have an inline fuse, and I so I used this. This is an inline fuse. It's got a 10 amp, 200 and 240 volt fuse in it, 10 amps. So anything goes wrong, um, you know, between the switch and the fuse block, it'll pop that, that fuse. And then everything else is going to be fused through the fuse block. So anyway, um, so I got to main power and then so far as far as what I've gotten I've got the LED lights like I said that was kind of a chore but yeah, as you see the LED lights are working and yeah I did that first because I knew it was going to be a bit of a chore with the you know four lights with two wires each was going to be a bit of a chore getting it all together so everything else like like these i'm just going to jump negative to negative on this and then run the negative up to the fuse block and same with these these here negative to negative and then the negative up to the fuse block so because they're going to be controlled by one these two are going to be controlled by one switch and these two are going to be controlled by one switch and, and through the fuse blocks. And then I have the other parts that I still have to figure stuff out. But I'm, I'm trying to get this wired right now. But you kind of get the idea. It'll look nicer. I mean, I got wires dangling and it looks like a mess up here. And once I get everything zip tied the way I want it, it'll, it'll, actually, look kinda, it'll actually look, you know, a little more neat. Um, I use these. I don't know if you people have come across these. Those are the uh, butt connectors that have the solder in them. Um, let me get this out of here. I have the solder in them. These things are great. I used these on another project. They're shrink wrap. You know, the the outer clear part is shrink wrap. The little blue inside is is just like a waterproofing, you know, part of the shrink wrap. And then the very middle is solder. Um, use a heat gun. I mean, you can use you can use a torch, but you got to be super careful because the torches will melt that shit quick. Um, not that the heat gun won't, but at least you have a little more control over it. So, yeah. So the shrink wrap holds the wires together. The little blue line basically makes them waterproof and then inside in the middle is solder these are great butt connectors uh, you twist the wires together it shows you on the box how you should do it you twist the wires together put the solder over the over your twisted wires and uh, yeah use the heat gun and you are golden yeah, I used them on one of my other projects. I used a lot of them on one of my other projects. It, they're great. They're great. Like I said, the, it solders them and shrink wraps them all in one go. So they're pretty cool. Um, let's see. So this is as far as I got so far. Um, as far as wiring, you know, the switches, I've it's going to be pretty pretty easy like I said I'm just gonna run a jumper from the negative to the negative on this and then from uh, this to the there and then there'll be another jump over here to the to the switch and then the positive wires will go straight from the fuse block to the switch and uh, same with these down here and then all I've got to do is figure out what I'm gonna do with my my solar charge controller how I'm gonna mount it am I gonna mount it on the inside or the outside and then you know but you kind of get the idea of what I've got going on here um, so yeah well on these switches these switches got three you know 
I'm, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people already know, but there might be some folks that are like, well, how do you know which, which plug to plug what part of your system in? So, um, these particular type of plugs, I got them on, on Amazon. Um, I have three poles on them. There's one brass one. If you can see there, I get this out of the way. So you got one brass one on one side. That's your negative. Um, then you've got two silver ones. The direct opposite of the brass one. That's your power in. Okay, that's your power. If you're using a fuse box anyway, that's your power coming from the fuse box to the switch. And then obviously the middle one is your load. So that will go to whatever your accessory is. So, you know, like this one goes to my LEDs. It powers the LEDs. Yeah, so, so I had to get all the negatives together, you know, using these because, you know, obviously the, the wire, this box is pretty wide. And like I said, I decided to mount these on either side. That way, you know, if it's dark or something, you, 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 turn these on and and it's going to light up you know both sides of wherever your room is so um, anyway so as far as i've got so far i know like i said it's taken me a little bit because i overthink things and then i end up having to go back and redo it or undo it or because i you know and and i'm sitting here with these lights because i had to keep reminding myself but then somehow I I wired it backwards anyway. You know, no matter what I did, I was keeping it in my mind. It's like, this wire is positive, this wire is negative. And then some, I still wired it backwards. So that's why I tell you, I didn't need you to suffer through me bumbling through this project. I mean, if you're keeping, if you're keeping an eye on this. And everybody who's subscribed, and, you know, I do appreciate you subscribing. I don't. I don't do a lot of stuff, um, but I, I do like to do little things. And then, you know, I don't necessarily need to work on, you know, models every time. But, you know, I like to do other stuff as well because I like to just build shit. And I've been seeing these and thinking, well, with, like I said yesterday, with things going on in the world, um, you never know. You never know. So anyway, that's how I've got how far I've gotten so far. So um, I'm gonna keep on working on it, and uh, like I said, and this will this will be a little bit for me, but it I, I know I keep repeating myself, but it's gonna be a blink for you. So we'll be back. All right, everybody, I'm back, obviously, and I've got everything. Well, aside from the charge controller and the uh, inverter, I haven't wired those yet. But everything else is wired. All the stuff. Got the fuse block. Um, everything else is wired. So, I just, I got to tidy everything up. The wiring up with, you know, zip ties and, and whatnot. So, I got those two power things as well as these. So, moment of truth. Main power. The twelve volt USB LED lights and a power jack. Yeah, USBs are working. Twelve volt. I've I didn't think I got the one with the LED in there, so there's that. And let's see here. I'll try to do this with one hand. Come on, you. I got my voltmeter out. So you, should, you notice that I've got these opposite, so that I. I mean made sense to me and it might not make sense to you but it made good sense to me so let's jack 12.4 so 
other jack. Let me switch these around. See, just for that reason. So you can't or accidentally plug something in the wrong polarity. So there, 12.4. This I forgot had a volt meter on it too, but I like this one because this one has different parameters. Where is it? There it is. I just have to go in. I know 12.5 is, is more than 74%. I got to go in there and set the parameters on this and hook up the... Uh, so yeah, got these all all wired up. And I just got to mess with the inverter and the charge controller, but for for the most part, it's 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 coming along. So, like I said, I've got to go in there and tidy up the uh Tidy up the the wiring underneath. I got to do some some uh, creative zip tying to make this not look like a rat nest. You know, it's would be in so much nicer back when they invented electricity if they could use just one wire, and you know, so you didn't have to run two wires to everything. Well, this one with these type of switches, you got to run three wires. But you know. Safety first. But, anywho. We are almost finished. I gotta hook up the, uh, the temperature sensor on that voltmeter. But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna tidy up the wiring with some zip ties. Get it looking more presentable i'm going to figure out how i'm going to do the the uh charge controller and the inverter that's going to be another video um i'll come back with an update video because i'm not 100 percent sure how i'm going to do it yet i've got some ideas of put just putting the inverter down here in the bottom you know strapping it down but i'm going to run i'm thinking i'm going to run some some plugs from the inverter and put a an outlet here but I got to go to Lowe's and get all that so that's going to be a different project and the solar charge controller I might put in here on the side here or maybe on the outside over here I haven't decided yet but like I said for the most part aside from those two extras the it's pretty much done I mean I've got power here for uh, using stuff whatever um, USB here 12 volt uh, there like I said the inverter has got two USBs the, the uh, charge controller has got two USBs so I think I'm covered on the USB stuff um, but yeah yep that is it like I said I will come back with another video once I get the wires all tidied up and figure out how I'm going to do the uh, the last two pieces to my my um, box here and I will upload a video and kind of give you the uh, a quick update and um, yeah I know there's probably a lot of things that I could have done differently or that maybe somebody watching this video be like why didn't he do it that way or why didn't he do it this way or you could have did it this way or that way that's fine this works I might go back in here and and redo some things but for the purpose of this video I was just kind of showing you know how things go and uh, you know if you if you're gonna do something like this then you can do it that's the that's the joy of doing these DIY things you don't have to do it the way I do it you don't have to do it the way you can do it the way you want to do it. This is your project. This is your thing. As long as it's not going to set fire to anything and, you know, it's safe, you know, it's good to go. Like I said, but all that being said, I appreciate you coming by. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I know it's, you know, if you guys have watched my videos, you, you know how they are. So, like I said, if you decide to do something like this, 
check this place out. There's other places. Like I said, you can go to AliExpress, um, Banggood. You can get batteries. You don't have to go to all the trouble of, of salvaging them. I mean, you're going to pay a lot more. Like I said, those individual batteries, last time I priced a brand new battery, and they weren't an LG or anything like that. They were like a, a very fire or, you know, some other na brand names I've never heard of. Um, but yeah, the last time I checked, there's, they were running about seven bucks per individual battery. Now you don't have to do it the way I did it. I licked, I wanted to use lithium because they, uh, the lithium is, is much, like I said, one of these, one of these in, uh, uh, exact same size in lead acid, you're only going to get about what they call eight amp hours, eight or nine. Each one of these individually if you know i could get up to 12 i've even seen some of them that say that they they got 18 amp hours but i mean i'm i'm trying to be little you know i'm thinking 12 12 each you know that's quite a bit of time that's four or five days right there without charging give or take depending on how much how many amps you're drawing off of them but I mean, you're, you'll you'll have a lot of power, a lot longer. These will last, you know, four of these will last a lot longer than four lead acids of the exact same size. So that's why I went with lithium. But you can, I mean, you can do it however you want to do it. If you don't want to mess with building the batteries the way I did, that's fine. Um, like I said, you can you can go on this, get you four of the. Uh, what is it? Lithium iron phosphate batteries, the newer ones. Um, you can get four of those. You don't have to build them. They're just four good sized batteries. Um, the four of those will be a lot lighter than four of these, but you get roughly the same amount of energy out of them. But you got to remember, anytime you use lithium, you need to use a BMS. And they do sell BMSs. You don't have to get like I did. I did. I had one BMS for each of these batteries. They sell one BMS. It's a 4S. You just look up for 4S BMS, and you know that that's what you need to do. That way, you keep the batteries charged and and healthy. So, anyway, that's going to be it for me today. I hope everybody has a great weekend, and uh, talk to you next time.